lot of parents don't want their kids fighting in school, you know? Oh, you shouldn't get in a fight. You should be able to resolve it, you know? You should be able to talk it through. It's bullshit. I say the playground's the best place to lay these bastards out. <laughs> Here's why. I know, it sounds, I know, I know. You're thinking, oh God, look at this guy. He's given such bad advice. How can he be a father? I'll tell you something. When I was growing up, I was so afraid to get in a fight on the playground. I was so worried that I'd be in so much trouble when I got home that I never defended myself. I never did. Not until I got much older and started playing sports, you know, that sort of thing. So my daughter, she's, um, I don't know, at the time, she's like five years old, five or six years old kindergarten, first grade, whatever. And she kept coming home with her her dress all torn and tattered and, you know, covered in dirt and mud and stuff. Because the boys that she'd play with on the playground, they're all about the same size at that age, you know. They'd push her down, knock her around, you know, whatever, play real rough, just, you know, hurt her and stuff. And she'd get upset, she'd go tell the teacher, and they'd give them a timeout. Jordan, you're gonna go in timeout little bastard that gets to sit out for a while and recess. Okay, time in. Might as well say, game on. Because they'd come out of timeout, go back to playing their rough games and pushing my daughter around. <clears throat> now, I've taken my share of martial arts and stuff. Not because I like to fight. I'm really not a fighter. I'm not. I like to I like to know that I can fight. And I love the competition and I like the exercise. And I like that you're always learning something. But I'm not like... I've never been a guy to go and start shit with people. It's just not my thing. But... It's really, really fun to be able to use it when you when you need it. So anyway, my daughter, she comes back, you know, we call the teacher, the teacher has to talk with the kid and all this kind of stuff. Well, we're gonna talk to him and send a note home to the parents. Great. So that's what they do. Well, guess what? <clears throat> Jordan has a short attention span, short memory. Parents talk to him, apparently. Who knows, maybe not. She comes home again all beat up, dressed torn. So I said, all right, look. You're going to have to fight this kid. I don't want to fight. I'll get in trouble. But yeah, you're going to get in trouble. But guess what? It beats getting your ass kicked every day on the playground. Get in trouble. Get in trouble once or twice and that's it, you know, and I got your back. I told her that. You know, she's in kindergarten. I didn't say get your ass kicked, but, you know, I said, um, I said, look, you, you're going to get in a fight. Whether you're in trouble or not, this kid's going to keep pushing you around. And this is where a lot of parents will, like, differ from me. They'll say, oh, you shouldn't teach your kids to be violent. Not teach them to be violent. Teach them to stand up for themselves. Teach them that, you know, if somebody's going to push you around, it's going to cost them something, you know? Something that they can identify with, not a time out. Ugh, I hate this new age shit. So anyway, she, uh, I get my hand targets out, you know? Like, All right, give me your best shot, you know? She does one of these, and, you know, she can't hit. And I'm like, oh. Okay, all right. And so I'm like, well, let's see what you got. Let's see about the kicking. So I hold the hand target down low. All right, give me your best kick. She gives me, like, the best, you know, Morton Anderson field goal kick in the world. Boom, bam. I'm like, all right, we got something we can work with here. Because she's got good legs, you know, good strong legs. So I said, all right, here's what I want you to do. Give me a few more kicks down low. So I'm holding the hand target, you know, down low near my crotch area. Away from the crotch, not, you know, right? So anyway, she's just lighting it up. She's kicking it real hard. I'm like, how hard can you kick it? And she's getting into it. I'm like, all right, good. This is good. So I said, all right, here's what you need to do. Next time this little jerk pushes you around on the playground, knocks you over, whatever, <clears throat> I want you to get up. I want you to kick him in the crotch as hard as you possibly can, just like that. But that'll hurt him. I'm like, yeah, it's going to hurt him a lot. And he won't do it anymore. He won't do that to you anymore. You tell him to stop it. And if he does it again, you kick the hell out of him as hard as you can. I said that, too. But, Daddy, I'll be in trouble. Like, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. So what? You'll lose your recess. But guess what? Next recess, you won't do that anymore. So, <laughs> she comes home one day, and uh, she goes, Daddy, Daddy, guess what? Guess what? She walks right past Mom, and she comes in. You know, her dress is torn again, whatever. She comes home all smiles, you know, because she was coming home crying about stuff. This time she comes home, she's like, Daddy, I do what you said. I kicked Jordan right in the crouch. Then he fell down and he was crying. So I kicked him again a few more times on the ground. <laughs> oh my God. So she's turning into Robert De Niro all of a sudden. Like if she had a bat, she'd just keep hitting him, I think. You know, but she had all this pent up aggression. So, uh, so she kicks the crap out of this kid. And I told her, I said, listen, you kick him once, he'll fall over and you run away. You kick him and you run away. 
I kicked him and he fell over just like you said and he was crying so I kicked him a few more times. <laughs> anyway, he never messed with her anymore after that. And yeah, you know, the teacher and all that stuff, but I said, hey, I told her to defend herself. What are you gonna do? Sue me, you know? I mean, if that's, I mean, that's the thing, is it, you know, uh, during recess, that's the time that kids can learn to like deal with one another. That's, I mean, nobody's gonna get terribly hurt in elementary school. You know, that's when you learn some real lessons about who you are and what you're gonna be and, you know, that you shouldn't be messed with. You know, that's the best time to learn that stuff. I'm not saying you should go around telling your kids to knock people out, but if push comes to shove, well, there's a reason why there's that saying. You gotta shove back sometimes. Anyway, it worked out great. Now, not long after that, he invited her to a birthday party, and he's nice as can be with her. Anyway, I was really proud of her for that.